Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Waves from Slider here. In this video, I'm going to talk about multi-threading architecture in Android. As a beginner in Android, you're scared with different words. People tell you threads, someone says handlers, some other guy says async task, the other person says cursor loader, async task loader, and you're always left scratching your heads as to what these things are and how these things work. But hopefully, after this video, you will never ever be afraid in Android of using threads. So let's get started first with the part one where I talk about the concept behind the multi-threading process in Android. So let's take a simple scene or you can say a scenario try to understand multi-threading in Android. There is this guy over here who is the main person in charge who is responsible for handling everything. One person comes to this guy and says hey my battery is gone below 30% I would like to run the on receive method can you please do that the main guy over here on the left side says put your message on my table when I get free time I will run it this is a broadcast receiver second there's another guy who comes and says hey someone just clicked a button on me and I would like to run some code inside the on click method can you please do that the main guy again says please put your message on the table and I will take a look at it when I get free time the third person comes here and says hey I need to do some XML parsing inside my on start command method hi I'm a service the main guy again says the same thing put it on the table the fourth guy is a little different he comes there with a knife threatens the main guy and says hey I got an SQL query to run and you need to do it right now so the main guy is like okay okay I will do it I don't put please don't put this on the table I will run it instantly so if you see this little scenario, this is what is called a message queue in Android. The broadcast receiver, the activity and the service simply drop messages inside the message queue. The content provider, however, runs synchronously, which means it runs on the main thread immediately. This entire thing, the queue, is the main thread's message queue. The person here on the left side who's running everything is called the looper in Android and this complete mechanism is the multi-threading architecture in Android in the most simplest way that you ever read online. So now let's take a look at this in a more technical way and try to understand what is going on. So what you have is four types of components, activities, services, broadcast receivers and content providers within a single process. And as you guys know every process has one main thread this main thread lets you post messages to its message queue the activity the service and the broadcast receiver post their events through this message queue but the content provider interacts directly with the main thread without queuing events in other words these three things that is the activity service and the broadcast receiver are asynchronous in nature that is they post their messages in asynchronously whereas the content provider wants them to run immediately which is synchronous is the technical word for that so UI elements are updated on the main thread remember all the stuff that is inside the activity like buttons progress bars they are updated on the main thread for example if someone presses the key keyboard on key down method is called and all the stuff that is inside this method is gonna run on your main thread and for example you can even have the set text method on your text view that also runs on the main thread now if you click a button again the on click is gonna run it's gonna drop a message on the main thread which is gonna be run when the main thread is free and devoid of any other work now a broadcast receiver the same way runs all the code inside the on receive method on the main thread again with the help of messages for example if the battery goes below 30% the broadcast receiver simply says that hey I need to run the on receive method which is posted as a message over here inside the main thread and that will be run same goes for the service the start service the on start command and all those methods that you have in the service lifecycle they run in the main thread now the reason people say that services are background in nature is because you don't see a user interface when a service is, is running and that's why people call it background so now let's talk about long running operations in Android. 
one of the screens that you guys see here is the screen that you never want to see inside your application which says this is not responding so performing long running operations like network access that is XML, HTML, JSON parsing or database queries are going to block the whole UI because they, the main thread is going to be busy processing these network operations and the other UI events like the button click will not be processed because they are dropped as messages inside the queue, remember? Hence, if the UI thread is blocked no events can be dispatched including the drawing ones and therefore the application appears to hang from the user's end. If you don't believe me, you can make a simple for loop that runs for 100,000 times, have a button click and see if the button freezes or not and you will find that the button freezes. In fact, the application itself is gonna hang if you try doing that. So don't perform any long running operations on the main thread that is no working with files, no network operations, no complex graphical calculations on the main thread. So use additional threads for tasks that are longer than five seconds. And of course, if you cannot um, have a task, if you cannot uh, you have tasks that are longer than five seconds, like they are very long, you can use services for that. And then don't modify the user interface from your background thread. Use services instead. Now we will be talking about services right in this playlist in the upcoming videos. So if you guys are like wondering what services are and what is their life cycle, don't worry too much about it. So in this video, I have given you guys a rough overview of what is multi-threading in Android. In the next video, I'm gonna dig further and show you the technical architecture of threading in Android and how we can use threads in our applications with certain methods and of course after that we are going to work out an example that downloads something from the internet using threads and also updates the progress bar while doing so which is all upcoming in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and support us in any way you can and for any query that you guys have please post it in our official android programming group on facebook which is right given in the description text below and stay tuned for the most amazing things yet to come on Slide Nerd. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.